Hi, I want to go over some of the basic of how to use focus pattern search. To begin, uh, let me type in some of the keywords here. So we can see the left hand side will show you your search history. And when we hit the search button, a current query will pop out. Okay, so now we are executing this number two search cat. We can see a list of search tools below it and they will be all based on this search query that we just did. For example, if we hit the results, all these results down here will be based on these 300,000 hits that we just got. And when we do terms, these are the common terms of these 300,000 documents. And there's the same thing for the ownership. So we can see now it's a list of most common inventors, applicants, assignees inside this group of documents. And classification shows the classification analysis and timeline shows where are these applications are filed, published, or patented. And we have geolocation where it shows the most common inventors, assignee, or applicants are located. And it further shows us where are those located within the U.S. territory. We can see California has the most inventor, applicant, or assignees within this particular group of documents. So let's go back here. Our previous search result list. So we can always get to our previous search by click, just click on it to get the search string back. Or we can just click on the numbers just like this one and two so this will give you dog and cat just like when you type in dog and cat this will give you the same result okay or we can do number one or number two one and two one to say like dog or cat or number one not two so you can see this document has dog but not cat okay so one more thing about search keywords is that you can do a wildcard so play sometimes like these kind of word you, you want to capture plays or playing play so instead of doing this play or play or play playing you could do this you know you, if you want to be really precise or you can simply do a star to allow anything any character uh, following play okay or you can do a limited character by adding a data sign and then a number so that number will specify how many characters that you allow after play so if we put dollar sign one, that means we can allow up to one character after play. So it's either nothing after play or any one character after play, but not two or three or more. And then you can also place that in anywhere. You can do that. Okay. This allow two character up to, I mean, up to two character in between play uh, L and A. So these can be two, either zero or one or two character here. Oh, you can also put it in the front. Okay. So I think a lot of chemical cases, you can do that to capture uh, similar elements. You know. Okay. So besides that, you can do a question mark. Question mark is a placement for one character, exact one character. So it cannot be zero. So if you want exact one character and it can be any character, you can add a question mark in your terms. And then the next thing I want to talk about is the fields. So when we do the search, these are the, all the fields that we can do. Okay, it's a list down here. So pattern number, publication number, application number, publication day so this is the if it's a pattern it will be a pattern day so this gets you the pattern day so if the document is a publication number and then this will get you the publication day so one example is to do pub day 
and then uh, 1976 0101 to like right now the end of this year we are not there yet but you can do that you know to make sure you capture everything so these are all the documents that in the system now we can see timelines right so that's all we have inside the system it includes patent and public publications and then the red one show where are they file how many they file and then how many they publish throughout each year okay so next uh, let me go back here so next we can do is file day so we can limit the file day just like the publication day issued so if we put issue one like these these are everything we have right so we can end with issued one that means we only get all the patents on the other hand if we put zero that means we are getting all the publications and not patents okay so everything here is publication okay so uh, the next is title abstract description and claim so let's just say we do a term search so when we search it actually means that this term is either gonna be in the title or in the abstract or description or in the claim let's say you want to further limit your keyword to be in a certain area then we can do this like title for example title and then your keywords so title laser like this will only get those documents that with laser in their titles and then we can add some wildcard that we talked about earlier to further you know add some alternatives to our terms so like dollar sign or we can use star or question mark here so next is cpc cpc man ipc ipc man uspc uspc man so these are the classes that we can search so we have three uh, main classification scheme so one is uspc but USP and then the, the other one is IPC. So these two are used to be very popular because USPC are used by the US Patent Office and IPC are used by the European and it's an international classification. But since 2013, US Patent Office and the European decided to combine those classification. And the combination is a brand new they, they create a brand new classification scheme is called CPC so now USPC is already depreciated so if we still search USPC we're not gonna see the newest uh, documents okay so I will recommend everyone to just use CPC for now because that's newest classification so like this uh, it shows the example we can do CPC and then column and then the class we wanted to search and then CPC we can do two kinds of different search one is CPC this search every classes that a document has because one document can be classified into multiple CPC classes so this would hit we will try to capture every every classification and CPC main will only capture the first classification. Okay, so I'll show you what you mean what I mean by this. So if I search this for example, okay, and then I go to the results. Okay, we can see these are the documents that are classified in the classification that we searched okay but uh, this document only has one class let me, let me go to a later page okay so so this one you can see this is what we search and this show up in the second classification so uh, whenever 
the pattern of its doing classification. The first one is the main one. Okay, so if we look at this invention, okay, if it's a storage medium and then connect to a user interface, we don't know the detail, but let's just assume maybe there's a storage medium class and then there's a connection class or there's a communication class as a side class okay so there's always a main class and then some of the class trying to capture the side features and examiners when they are classifying this case they will always put the main class first like this and then you'll be followed by some of the uh, side features so when we do cpc main we can make sure that the class we search is always gonna be the first class okay so when we do this we're not gonna see that reference again okay so everything we see we have this class in the front Okay, so we can go next. Next is uh, inventor, inventor city, state, country, applicant, city, state, country, uh, assignee, assignee, city, state, country. So I think it's straightforward. It's just, I just want to mention that uh, also 2013 when the AIA kits in. So we are treating applicant different than inventor so inventor is really those people that invented the invention but applicant is those that apply so it is not necessarily inventor that apply right so sometimes the inventors would give their rights to a company and then the company apply so the applicants now uh, the applicant is the company it's not not necessarily the inventor so the assignee, uh, same thing. Assignee not necessarily means that's a company. It could be inventor assigning the invention to themselves. So many times the assignee will show up as individuals' names. So let's look at this IAA first. So IAA means inventor, applicant, and assignee all together. So it, it's just a shortcut for you to search all of the three at the same time because sometimes you don't know whether a, a person is listed as an inventor or applicant or assignee right so you want to search that or you want to search a company you can also do this because a company may be listed as an assignee or the company also may be listed as an applicant you may never know so i would suggest that whenever we want to search a person's name or company's name we do IAA and then assigning role allow you to know whether the assignee is a person or a individual or is a company so for example assignee role 04 is US individuals so we can see like uh, this is all the patterns we have right and then we can end with this so how many of them are really individual signings right this it's like less than one percent okay so most patterns are applied by companies that's in the list is forward and backward search we can use backward search to find those older references that a current reference cited and then we can use forward search to find future reference that cited this reference so I think let me let me do an example here so that this can be more clear let me just find any document here so uh, results okay I, I can take this one okay this is a pattern so I can do backward column and then the number pattern number 
okay we got four so that means these four are being cited by this pattern maybe these four are something that this pattern has built on or maybe this pattern has improved from these four references so a backward search will allow us to get previous state of the art of the current reference and uh, let's do a forward search on the same reference uh, forward okay forward hmm we have 19 cases so that means these 19 are the future inventions that based on this reference that we are seeing right now so if you own this pattern that means 19 more inventions in the future are depending on your pattern so that's about all of the search fields that we can do here there's one more thing here it's a emphasized character so it looks like this okay it's a shift plus six key basically this allows us to put emphasis on any terms or a group of terms if we have a parenthesis around them this will not change the, our results but it will change how our results are being sorted we can see our results are sorted by relevance so let me let me do an example here so we can see this more clear so for example we put a medical and let me create a phrase here medical near three device so that means medical and device are three words apart and most three words apart and then and uh, let's say a laser okay so let's put an emphasis on this laser let's say laser put a 10 and let's see we should see the results will be sorted by lasers more you see this lasers appears way more time than the other two terms let's emphasize medical device also so that you'll be emphasized more than laser let's do 200 and then maybe just 10 okay so we should see this time medical device are being weighted more than laser right so we can see these two now appear way more times than laser so if we need all the turns but we really want to focus on something this is what we do and by the way when you do keyword search you can see all the keywords will be highlighted in yellow and then the green one is the systems automatically comes out with so these are the keywords that the system finds it appears more in this particular reference but uh, it's, uh, it's not that common in other reference so the system try to pick it up to suggest to you so we can see like all these reference has these common terms because we search it and they all hit right but now they are different by these green terms so we can see you know kind of scam through uh through it so you can see I, I think these two are the same reference though. so so that's why we see the same words here but it's mostly gonna be different for different references i think we are running into a pattern family that's why all these keywords are looking similar here okay we got some different ones so these sets of keywords is actually helping us to distinguish each reference from others and one last thing we want to mention is i forgot to mention this near three so when you want to combine multiple words it's and or not and besides those you have near and adj okay so near three means that these two words medical and device are in three words distance up to three word distance it could be directly no words in between so it's be medical device 
or it be, be medical something device or you know at most you can have two words there because to be able to have a distance of three at most you can only have two words here okay and medical device it doesn't matter the order so device can be before it or medical can be before device it doesn't matter on the opposite if we do adjacent adj3 that means medical has to be before device for it to hit and it's the same thing and most two words between medical and device okay i think i have shown you the basics of text search that we can do here so starting on my next tutorial i'll be showing you more advanced techniques that people use to search for their inventions or even we can look for trendings that's happening in the patent database thank you for watching and good luck in your search